Hi there, I'm Kevin and I would like to welcome you to this direct external extension VoIP nugget where we will be describing how to configure a subphone to connect to 3CX phone system over the internet assuming that firewall or NAT settings are correct on the device routing the PBX's LAN to the internet. We will look at an example where we will be setting up extension 301 to be an external extension. I've already set up my 3CX phone system at the office using a virtual machine and it's on IP address 172.18.1306. I have already pre-configured extension 301 and the PBX is ready to accept registrations for this extension and to deliver calls from and to extension 301. For this example, we will be using a Linksys SPA921, but the solution is equally usable with any SIP phone, given that the firewall or NAT device between the 3CX phone system and the internet is correctly configured. So this is the device I'm using from home, and I will be setting it up to interact with the 3CX phone system at work. First, we need to log in to the phone's management console. The IP address of the phone I have here is 10.0.0.1.06, and this is what it shows me. Next, I need to go to the admin mode by clicking the admin login link at the top of the page. And now, change to advanced mode by clicking the advanced link at the top of the page. Next, go to the SIP tab and scroll down to the RTP parameters section. to change the RTP packet size from 30 to 20 milliseconds, ensuring reliable audio delivery. Now, we scroll down to the NAT support parameter section, set the stun enable field to yes, and uh, the stun server field to demostun.3cx.com to allow the phone to discover its external IP address and the port mappings that will be applied to the traffic sent and received by the phone. Now we go back to the top of the page and click on the EXT1 tab. Now we set the line enable field to yes and scroll down to the proxy and registration section and we need to set the proxy field to the public IP address of our PBX the register expires field to 300 which will cause the phone to re-register with the PBX every 10 minutes and in the subscriber information the display name field must be set to the name of the user setting also the user ID field to match the extension number for this phone the password field to the authentication password which is set for this extension we instruct the phone to use authentication ID and then set the authentication ID field to the authentication ID we set for this extension. Now we scroll down to the dial plan section, set the dial plan field to match that which we're seeing on the video and click the submit all changes button to complete the procedure. This concludes the direct external extension VoIP nugget and I would like to thank you for viewing.